going on gents it's your boy ian and welcome to the fit man style channel i am fresh from the gym that's why i look like this super dressed down i mean this is me on a regular day with my hoodie on um as you guys know i'm doing this competition thing in a couple of months i must have put up a video up by now of me showing you my journey to the npc boston so i'm gonna put a link up some way so you guys can check that out well came from the gym and i saw some packages at my doorstep which i was super excited about one in particular, because I've been waiting for this one for a very long time. And that is none other than Spear and McKay. I am no stranger to Spear and McKay. I have a couple of their turtlenecks. I got one pair of pants from them, which I had a little bit of an issue with. So hopefully I learned my lesson from that and I, I chose a good one. So let's open this up and see what type of suit I got. Right, gents so here is the suit right out of the box and I am pleasantly surprised that it fits me well on their on their websites my measurements came up to a 46 chest for the, the jacket so that's what I ordered I was a little bit weary because I know that their contemporary uh, fit it runs a little bit slim even though they already have a slim fit just from past experience um, their contemporary does run a tad bit snug. So I was a little bit wary about the 46 chest, but as you can see, it fits me. It doesn't hug my shoulders too tight. There's little padding there on the, on, on the shoulders. Got a wide lapels. This is uh, three and a half inch wide lapels. Very relaxed sleeve. I don't feel it hugging my biceps too, too, too much. Yeah, I, I really, I really like it. And it's not poking out of my off, off off my chest too much that's a that's a problem that we typically have as as muscular men that when we get suits off the rack you have the chest poking out a little bit i believe this suit is a half canvas suit which is very impressive for an off the rack suit typically off the rack suits are few so they don't really have a nice drape to them but as you can see it fits me very well i am going to take this to a tailor and have them showing the sleeves 
probably about half an inch so I can show a little bit of cuff. But that's the only alterations that I'm gonna do. The size fit me well. It just feels very relaxed. Let me give you a quick spin. This is how it looks on the side. Looks on the back, I know it still have tags on it. Don't worry, I will take that off. Covers my butt. There we go. So yeah, I like the jacket. It's not pulling at, 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 at the button here. So I like this. I am not gonna do anything else to it other than showing the sleeves. All right, gents, so here are the pants from Spear McKay. Now, here's the story with my experience with Spear McKay pants. Now, I'm a 34 waist, so the first pair of pants that I ordered like a couple years ago, um, I went for a 34 contemporary. That didn't fit me. So I returned it, exchanged it for a 36 waist. I went up a size. That kind of sort of fit me. It was it was bearable, but it could still give me some 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 room that I, I needed. And that's what I'm gonna put on the screen right now. So I still have those pants. So I thought, okay, as much as I I can tolerate the 36 waist at a contemporary, I want to feel comfortable in my pants. So for these pants, you have the option on Spare McKay to go for suit separates. So there's a comment section right before you place the, 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 the order to say, hey, can you exchange the pants for a different size? Because suits typically come with a six inch drop. So with a 46, a 46 um, jacket, it would have come with a, a 40 pants. But I was like, maybe 40 is a little bit too much. Let me go down a, a size, but a size up from what I already have. So this actually is a 38 contemporary and it fits me. Now I do see a little bit of pull in here. I don't know if the tailor can do something about that. I probably let out some fabric in the back. There's usually some fabric like back there that the, t the t tailor might let out just to give me a little bit of more room here, but it does still feel comfortable. Uh, I'm not gonna do anything to the waist. The waist feels fine. What I might do though is probably taper the leg a little bit. Seems a little bit baggy, but I'll ask the, the tailor what, what he thinks. And also, all of their pants come unhemmed, so I'm gonna definitely <laughs> hem their pants. Now, the, 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 the bottom that I'm gonna go with, I'm gonna keep things tra 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 traditional. Typically, with a plain flat front, you wanna go with a plain bottom. If you have pleats on your pants, you want to go with cuffs to add a little bit more weight. Now, that's a rule that you don't necessarily have to follow. I've seen guys wear flat fronts with cuffs, but I'm going to just keep things traditional with this one. So since I have a flat front, I'm going to go with a plain bottom. But that's the, that's the those, those are the only alterations that I'm going to do with the pants. Probably let it out a little bit on the back just to give me more room here, even though it does feel comfortable. Um, taper the taper the the uh, legs a little bit more, and definitely hem the pants. So let me just show you how comfortable it is. Sit it down. Feels comfortable. I don't feel no tightness, no pulling. Feels very comfortable sitting down. All right, gents. So here is the suit back from the tailor. Did very minor alterations with this, but let's first start with the jacket. With this, all I did was shorten up the sleeve so I can show a little bit of cuff. But I left everything as it is. The sides look good. There's no X in the front. It's not pulling. Shoulders are soft. Nice drape down the sleeve. It's not suffocating my biceps. Actually, nice drape down the body. This is a half canvas suit, which is already impressive for an off-the-rack suit. Typically, off-the-rack suits are fused for mass production, but the fact that they put a canvas in this, be it half canvas, it tells me that they put a little bit more attention to that detail. And you can actually feel it in there when you rub the lapel and the chest area of, of, of the suit. And that also adds to the drape of the suit. It, not, it falls nicely on my chest. It's not poking out like my other suits typically do. That's the suit right there. Let me turn around so you can see the back. All right, come a little bit 
closer, you can see a little bit of the details. This is their navy cross texture. You can see there's some stitching there on the lapel. Of course, the lapels are three and a half inch wide and the tie width and the lapel width are similar in width. But yeah, I already like this suit. It is a navy blue suit. It's a, a navy blue suit is a men's wear staple. Every man needs one in their wardrobe. Uh, it's the most versatile of, of, of suits. You can wear it anywhere. And not only can you not wear it, not only can you wear it anywhere, you can wear any color shoe with a navy blue suit. Let me open this up so you guys can see what it looks like. Opened up. High waisted, of course. Let's take this off so you can see the lining, which is not, you know, not, not too crazy, fully lined. It is a 46 uh, jacket. Typically, I'm a 44, but I mentioned that, you know, Spear McKay, even their contemporary, it runs a little slim. So I would have got a 44 uh, jacket, but I haven't had experience with them and their contemporaries. I just went up a size and I'm glad that I did because this 46 fits me well. All right, so you can see at least the top part of the pants. I added suspender buttons to this. Looks good. All right, now let's take a look at the rest of the pants. All of their pants come unhemmed, so of course I hem the pants. And this is a flat front, as I mentioned before. So I wanted to keep things classic and traditional. I could have gone with some cuffs, but I just decided to go with a plain bottom, which goes well with a flat front. Speaking about it being a flat front, there are no pleats here, which I thought would be an issue for me, but actually it feels very comfortable around my thighs. And I already demonstrated how comfortable it is when I sit down on a chair. And turn around so you can see the seat feels comfortable there too. Actually, I believe I'll let the, the, the tailor take out the seat just a little bit. Yeah, go. I actually like these pants. Oh, one thing that um, I wanted to do was to taper the leg, but after talking to the tailor, he advised that I don't, which I kind of agree with him now. I like this nice full cut and how it drapes down my leg. And with it being a navy blue suit, I like to pair chocolate brown shoes with navy blue pants. So I have these chocolate brown shoes from Beckett Simpson and on, but I've seen guys wear black shoes with navy blue, um, burgundy with navy blue. So either one of those shoes works very, very well with this color suit. Now that you guys have seen how the suit fits me back from the tailor, let's talk a little bit more about it. Now, it is made with 98% Australian Merino wool and 2% Lycra for this particular suit. On their website, they have various other suits that are made with various other fabrics, but this particular suit, 98% Merino wool and 2% Lycra. They also stated that it is 265 GSM, which stands for grams per square meter. Now, I appreciate Superior McKay for putting this information out there because on, on, unless you live in Canada, which I believe they do have a brick and mortar store in Canada, anything you buy from Spare McKay is most likely going to most likely going to be through their website. It's going to be an online purchase. So, with it being an online purchase, you're not there to feel the fabric. With this information, the GSM, it lets you know the weight of the fabric, so you know which garment to buy for whatever season that you want to buy it for. So for it being 265 GSM, it puts it in the mid-tier fabric weight. Anything less than that will be lightweight that you'll typically wear during the spring and summertime. Anything over than that will be your more heavier fabrics that they would typically use to wear to, 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 to make um, top coats to, to, so you can wear it in the winter time to keep you warm. So at 265, it's mid-tier weight. So this makes it an all-season fabric. 
I can layer up this suit in the fall and winter, and I can wear this sans tie during the spring and summertime. So I can definitely get a whole lot of bang for my buck with this suit. As mentioned before, it is a cross texture and you can see it as I zoom in into the fabric. Again, it is half canvas, which already puts it above your average off the rack suits that you would get from Macy's, JCPenney, or even Men's Warehouse where I used to work. They recently added a full canvas line to their suits. You might pay a little bit more for that, about 600 bucks, but even at that, I think that's a good deal for a full canvas suit. Trust me, having worked at Men's Warehouse where I would have been selling $600 suits that were fused, getting one with a full canvas, that's definitely a deal. But with this one being half canvas, you're looking at 350. That is a steal as well. And that's their everyday price. When they have their sales, which they regularly do, you would get it a lot cheaper. I bought this suit uh, like a good month or month and a half ago, and I bought it for like 270. So 270 for a half canvas off the rack suit. Yeah, that's not just a steal, that's like a heist. So it has lightly padded shoulders, genuine bullhorn buttons, of course, three and a half inch wide lapels. I gotta have my wide lapels for my wide chest. Flat front, I will make an exception this time and wear flat front pants because you guys know I love my pleats. And it has flap pockets. They have a couple suits on their website that have patch pockets, which is what I initially wanted, but they just didn't have my size in the pants. So I, I went with one with flap pockets. And as I mentioned before, uh, suits typically typically come with a six inch drop from the jacket to, to the waist. But if your waist differs from that six inch drop before you place the place the order on their website, there's a comment section where you can request suit separate. So you can request a jacket size that's your size and a, a, a pants waist that is your particular waist. All right, gents, thank you for watching this video. So what do you think? Do you like the suit? I like it. I mean, for the price, being off the rack, half keck canvas, it's not a bad purchase. Of course, with it being off the rack, there are some limitations to it. It's not made to your specific specifications. If you want that, you gotta go the custom route, which coincidentally, Spear McKay does have a custom program for their shirts and their suits. Now, if you were on the fence about Spear McKay suits, you, you were a little bit hesitant, um, I hope this video helped in your decision-making process. You know, that's the reason why I make these videos. Let me be the geeky guinea pig. Let me go out there, get the products, try it on, and come on here and give you my honest opinion about it. Now, with Spear McKay, they have two fits for their garments, whether it's shirts, pants, or suits. They have a slim fit and contemporary. Of course, slim fit's not gonna work for me, and I'm guessing it's not gonna work for a lot of fit men out there, so I went with the contemporary. But just to be forewarned, even with their contemporary, it does run a little bit snug. So if you're going with the contemporary, go up a size from your original size. But anyway, thank you again for watching this video. Hit me down in the comments what you think. Like, subscribe, all that jazz. I'll be back next week, same time, same place. And as always, stay fly and stay fit. Thank you.